Okay, this is a follow-up video uh, regarding Garmin maps. So if you own Garmin chart plotters like I do, I have three different chart plotters. And um, um, I'm here uh, abroad in Vanuatu and um, I needed to buy more charts for the next leg of my journey. And I ran into problems because I went into Garmin.com and I went to their marine tab and then it prompts you to go to uh to buy charts so you go to that tab then it takes you to another interface where it lets you select maps you select the map you hit buy it takes you to another type of uh purchasing portal and at that point um you you're about to buy but then there's a little small writing in the footnotes that uh says this may not be for your chart plotter kind of ominous it's not saying that the navionics is totally not interchangeable anymore with most people's chart plotters it's just saying it may not be well it's it's not that it just may not be it, it's not going to be navionics is not compatible with their older chart plotters and not even that old all my equipment is within two years old um but they decided that they're they're making a new generation of of uh product and they want to uh, obsolete everything that all of their loyal customers have bought in the past so anyhow um, I bought the Navionics one the one that they had prompted me to buy mistakenly now that I know um, at the time I thought it was just gonna be seamless with everything that I've ever had I don't know why they would even prompt you to buy something that that wouldn't f work with their equipment but I did, and I went through the, 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 the frustrating process of figuring out that this Navionics chart does not work with Garmin Express, their program that um, uh, handles uh, downloading the maps onto SD cards. So you can have your SD cards on a physical card, and you can have it forever, and then you can put it in your chart plotter, you got the map. That's it. Simple. This is old technology at this point. Um, Garmin said they're going to issue me a refund, and I went ahead and, and I had to go back in, dig all the way through all the the footnotes, the small little print. Finally, you get to their older maps. Now they're selling. It's the back. It's at the it's at the at the back end corner of their of their uh, website. Now it takes uh, time and, and, and hassle to even find it. Um, unnecessary. Uh, so. Um, my uh, summary is that uh, I'm very disappointed with Garmin. Um, they are actively, um, uh, I would say, uh, they're actively obsoleting their their product lines. All of it. They're having. They're showing no. Um, they're not. The 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 customer's best interest is not in their company policy at all. Uh, they're showing no integrity. Uh, they're using all of their technology against the the customer the paying customer who as sailors and navigators we put our lives onto the respect into the reputation of of garmin or whoever we choose and um, i no longer choose garmin i no longer um i'm not impressed at all i'm i'm, I'm angered by this the situation and i just want to express that to anybody else out there who's looking for um uh, chart plotters for navigating uh, look elsewhere find a company that's maybe smaller that still is trying to prove themselves and and, and still has the um, the the uh, the idea the 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 company vision to uh, build quality products that last and that they will stand behind that they'll support indefinitely that's a good quality product what company can actually say they do not stand behind their own products that's what Garmin's doing. And they're doing it in a, in a really ugly and disrespectful way. Um, and that's my piece. Cheers. Bye.